Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Jam. Today, checking out a mod, and that mod is Mouse Aim Flight. So I'm going to try it first with the F-104S Starfighter that I made uh, quite a while back. I managed to uh, update it for 1.1.2. I believe I pretty much just had to replace the wheels with stock landing gear, or maybe it already had stock landing gear. To be honest, I don't remember. But essentially what happens when you have Mouse Aim Flight is you hit P, and now... You can see in the center of the screen, there's a uh, little circle that indicates where I'm telling the plane to go. And that is my mouse controlling that. And then there's a little circle that is where the plane is actually trying to point at. So you can control your flight with the mouse. All right, there we go. Getting up into the air. I'm being very gentle with it because this thing can very easily uh, tail strike on takeoff because the landing gear is far enough forward. And, uh, oh yes, of course, it's uh, recommended that you use a chase cam because else oh dear because else else your uh, your camera is not going to move with the mouse which means that uh, you won't end up where you want to be so as you can see i'm kind of pulling it all the way over there and it's kind of slowly sliding back towards the middle but uh, obviously i want to keep pulling it that way and uh, i'm going up a bit because it started falling but yeah seems to be working quite well this is apparently really good for uh oh, let me go ahead and uh, turn that off for just a moment because I'm going to go over here to be the armory, and hey, look, it's got its own little button. Oh, that's cool. You can change the, P, uh, the keys used and everything. Right now, though, I'm going to switch to Vulcans, and I'm going to go ahead and hit P again. Oops, I need to turn off SAS. There you go. And apparently this makes it a lot easier to do these kinds of uh, gun runs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out this way a little bit and uh, throttle down quite a bit because it's, uh, unfortunately, we're going way too fast. And I'm going to turn... Just turn real sharp, as, as sharp as we can, basically. And, uh, yeah, the pitch is maxing out. I wasn't exactly sure how the control response was, but uh, we're just going to kind of gradually turn back and uh, go and do a strafing run with the guns on the KSC and see how well that goes. All right. Pretty far out. I'm going to go ahead and actually throttle down just a little bit more. Okay. It's kind of wobbling a little. All right, looks like we're good. Yeah, this is definitely very stable gun aiming that I can do here. I couldn't normally do this with the uh, normal controls. So yeah, I'd say it actually uh, it actually is pretty good for a gun run. Although I'm going to have to pitch up just a little bit to keep from stalling there. I'm going to go ahead and floor it. Yeah, so you lose a little bit of control, but you have much more precise aiming, essentially. Which allows you to... Uh, very carefully aim where the gun will go although like i said because you do lose a bit of control it does make it harder to do stuff like that i wonder do we still have yes we do okay so we still have uh the ability to control things with the keyboard even though we're using mouse aiming it looks like it automatically uh when i'm pushing a key it automatically sets the uh, mouse thing to whichever to wherever i'm pointing essentially so that it's not interfering with what i'm doing with the mouse keys or with the keys the mouse keys yeah so yeah, as you can see, we have some options here. Let me go ahead and uh, hit P, hit SAS, so we kind of get stable. We can have different styles of cursor. I can uh, turn this off so that's not bugging us. Let's see, cursor size, cursor opacity, and toggle flight mode. Toggle flight mode with, P with O. I don't know what that does. Let's go ahead and try this and try O. Cruise flight, experimental. Oh, I see. So it's much more subtle about how it reacts to the controls, so that if you're uh, if you're cruising along, it'll be uh, a bit more gentle on what it does. That's very useful. And then normal flight, where it of course will pull up as hard as it can. So let's try it with the active starfighter, which has uh, more control authority and uh, is more unstable. So it should be interesting to see if it uh, breaks any, if it still handles just as well. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Get the BD Armory stuff out of the way, as well as the uh, little menu there. Let's, uh... Nope, that's not the right button. I actually went into the, uh, vessel. F2, hit P, and what's the chase camera mode? It's... Oh, I can't see the things. Camera 3, camera chase. There we go. So, should be able to carefully fly it now. With no distractions. Of course, no ability to tell if we're falling, other than with our own eyes. But uh, we'll not worry about that. Oh, yes, this does have two little tiny engines on the wings. The uh, actual Starfighter Active uh, does not, but I just felt like adding them. 
So yeah, there we go. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, that's not quite what I meant to do. I was going to see if I could make it do a loop. Ah, very interesting. All right. Uh, come on down and pull through the loop. Yeah, so you can make it do a loop with this. It's a bit more difficult, and you kind of lose track of where you're actually aiming, but uh, can be done. Ooh, it's uh, kind of hovering around there a little bit. It's not quite able to catch back on. That's okay, though. We're just going to turn really sharp. Ooh, dear. Yeah, that rolled a bit too hard on its own. Pitching up quite severely to uh, keep it from falling over. There you go. So yeah, in some ways it's a little harder to fly. In other ways it's better. Oops. Oh, okay. I have uh, two set to uh, toggle those side engines, apparently. Oops, come on. Come on. Stabilize. Stabilize. There we go. Fairly stable. Okay, pull up. Because we don't want to crash. And let's pull right around the building. Oh, dear. Okay. Actually, I turned off the turbojet. I didn't even notice that. I actually turned off the turbojet. So, uh, let me turn that back on. One turns off, I'm guessing, the basic jet inside. It's been a long time since I've played with this craft, but yeah. Works fairly well. Oh, dear. I say that as I'm about to uh, fall to my death. Uh, come on. I'm using keys now to keep it stable. Okay, there we go. Huh. That's bad. Okay. Let's see how... Let's actually... Let's see how well it does for a, uh, a landing. I'm trying to keep it stable for a landing. Oh, dear. Okay. And... Oh, dear. Wow. That... That was a bit of an issue. All right. Looks like everything's okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Keep holding down the brakes. And we should be able to eventually coast to a stop. Slowing down kind of slowly. Uh, shouldn't have too much issue, though. Ground is banking just a little bit. Using a little SAS just in case things go wrong. But it looks like everything's fine. I'm going to try it with one more design that's not my design. It's actually by Bahamuto. So that should be interesting. And it's this FJ105-D2. So we're going to do a little bit of a gunning run with this. All right, here we go. Chase camera. Let's go ahead and get BD Armory to the Vulcan. Trigger armed. Oops, get that out of the way. Uh, F2, full throttle, space, P. There we go. And we should be able to take off pretty quickly with this, if I remember correctly. Yes, it does. It does get off the ground pretty quickly. We can shoot those a little bit before we even go anywhere. Oh, dear. Wow. This thing uh, definitely wants to roll when you turn. Let's go ahead and just tell it, tell it to turn all the way. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty tight turning radius. All right. So with this design, it looks like we've got a lot of the responsivity while also being able to uh, focus fire. All right. Yeah, I didn't give myself much room to line it up there. Oh, dear. Yeah. That was an example where if I wasn't using mouse control, I probably could have probably could have saved that. Ooh. Yay, pretty explosions. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is left to say about it. Uh, activate uh, chase camera. And, uh, oh good, it keeps where it is when you use uh, right-click to move around. That's good. And uh, full throttle, space, F2. Let's go ahead and uh, fly it around a little bit more. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in space.